Did nothing, it just steamed it up, that's all it's done. That is all it's done, that's all.
What's that one for? Can't be a minute. My colleague. Yeah. Dion Moncara looking for Ross Tungatalam. He was taking out, taken out, and it goes out of bounds just in front of Paddy Heenan, deep in the forward pocket for Tiwi. A man on the spot again, Charlie. Mike Simpson straight away. He, he was an Australian champion sprinter in his young age, would you believe, at about 30 years old? Really? So Simpson tosses the ball in high. Ruck contest. Maloney's in there. Charging in, tip him under Mary again. Ball comes out through Anthony Long, goes to Matthias Liddy. Good move. Now he gets the ball moving forward. Kick misses the target, I think, in Lambton. Now taken by Michael Dunn. Great to see him back in Tiwi colours. They spread beautifully. Mark taken here by Heenan at half forward. 
Oh, he pops that one up. That's a high up and under, to say the least. Inside oh. forward 50, the flyer couldn't take the mark. Ball spills. Who's going to get there first? Anthony Long body lines the footy. Then an opponent, Burgess. He just grabs hold of it, bangs towards goal. And Christian Burgess, well, strong performance for him last week. His first kick is a goal. Tiwi 117, St. Mary's yet to score. One of those southern imports playing for them. Good one to have in the side as well. He was never going to miss that. But they're looking menacing earlier on, aren't they? You can almost sense the, the gap between the two teams at the moment. This St. Mary's side are going to struggle today. Tiwi Bombers hot. Look at that mark. Nearly pulled it in. It was a flyer, wasn't it? And this ground really suits Tiwi because it's small as well. So once they get the ball, they can get it into 50 very, very quickly. They love playing here. Interesting there. Anthony Long just didn't quite know what to do when Burgess was over the ball. He had mm. his head over the ball. And he sort of clumsily crashed into him, where it's really should have tackled. Back in the middle. LWN gets that knockdown. Again, he goes in for a second effort. He was tackled. Should have been ball. Comes out to Paddy Heen, and he's dangerous in these conditions here. Ross Tungatalam falls over. Picked up by the Tiwi player, rushes it out and just hits the pack. Paddy Heen and hand passes over to a teammate. Too easy, the Tiwi Bombers. That's a goal on the board again. Just trying to pick up who that player was. Tipper. Tipper. So Shane, Tipper, to Mary. The one that's retired a couple of times, but very, <laughs> very important for them, Charlie. Oh, he's a, he's a great player. All that experience, watch him here do all the good work. He'll get the... Watch Paddy Hannon. It just busts straight through, and there's the handball. It's a good one. Just, he was going to kick it with his right foot. He was off balance and kicked it with his left and just dribbled it through. Great goal chain. Tip of man to Mary. Um, you were uh, fearing for some Marys earlier on, Dom. Those fears, I think, are even... Um, amplified now. Oh, look, no doubt about it. I think this is a very, very good Tiwi unit. They've got games ahead of them. St. Mary's have not. This is their last match for the season. Somehow they need to get a bit of pride out of this game. Harley Poor and Tata Mary tackled. They'll be caught holding the footy. Good endeavour there from Stephen Lampton in the middle of the ground. Goes now with the left boot. That's ill-directed. Bradley Palapua Mini cutting that off. So Palapua Mini now. Out wide goes to Simon Mankara. Some of the old firm at that is just a poor effort by Tom Frawley. Clearly over the mark, Charlie. Yeah, he, giving away 50 immediately. Yep, he chased when he didn't have to. He, he knew he was on the mark. He should have stayed there, but uh, yeah, he's been peeing. And, and one interesting fact again today is Cyril Rioli Jr. is running again for Tiwi, and he's running against his beloved green and gold St. Mary's. He's dad an absolute champion for them. Yep. And a lot of his cousins playing out there for St. Mary's. And his cousin, Shannon Riola, who's the uh, co-captain but not playing today. One of the opposition runners, if you like. <laughs> so Simon Mankara goes through and he puts that through the middle. What a start here by the Tiwi Bombers. They lead three goals, one, 19 points. Charlie well, King. we don't get a sense of which way the breeze is blowing. Not that there's any breeze of note, but <laughs> <laughs> it may that may very well be the scoring end up there. And if it is, then uh, certainly the Tiwi Bombers it, taking full advantage of it. And you're exactly right, Charlie. When we play here, it definitely is the scoring end. end. Yep, yep. And Saints, notably, Charlie, won the toss and chose to kick to the right of screen. Okay. So to have that scoring end in the last quarter. And you might just see, the camera won't pick him up, I don't think, but Sue Rioli about to run out onto the ground there as a runner. And I was having a chat with Ted Egan this morning who said the grandfather of the Riolis, uh, old man Rioli, old Cyril Rioli, Tipper Calipa, was a fantastic cricketer in his day. Yes, I, good, I knew that. Good tap out by Maloney, was against Wilson, picked up by Lampton, drives it into the 50 for St Mary's, drop mark there by Darcy. Goes out wide, look at the speed of Tiwi here. But good pressure put on by St Mary's and it goes out of bounds. Boundary throw in, roughly about 80 around from St. Mary's goal. So that's probably their first inside 50, I think, for the game. And you can just see on these haunches there to the left of the screen, Nathan Jakura has been down since the centre bounce. Only just gotten to his feet, but he's pushed the trainers away now. Maloney, Ruck, con Ruck contest, Maloney takes that away. Kick almost cut off there by Tiwi. In their defensive 50, ball gathered by Jacob Long on the paint of 50. Somehow manages to flick it out the back. Wasn't able to be gathered there. Now Tiwi looking to spread. Can they get hold of the footy? Now they do. And the boundary umpire says no. That ball was definitely taken out of bounds. So there'll be a boundary throw in out there. Ross Tungatalam has to toss the ball back. So that early onslaught lasted for about five minutes from the Tiwi Bombers. Now they'll settle down to a bit of an arm wrestle, I think. Tyus Liddy coming off. Wilson, the Tiwi, it's it to the front. Harley Pulitana Mary is there with the headgear on. Burgess as well, number 21. 
A lot of players around this ball. Tiwi managed to get it out. Jakura's in there again. Looking okay again. The third effort, he kicks it off the ground. Went straight into a St. Mary's player. Picked up there by Paris. Paris gets the hands away. Under a lot of pressure here, St. Mary's. They're working hard for this footy. Livingston, handball over the top again. Good tackle put on by Pallet for Mini. Kicks in board, Tiwi. Runners here with St. Mary's. Falls over. Good work by the Tiwi player, Mankara, not to get him high. St. Mary's is struggling to get this footy out. And the umpire has found a free kick for a high shot, and the free kick is going to Tiwi. A little bit ticky touch with. A little bit ticky touch with. Free kick now. Tiwi, can they use the footy? Call to play on. That's a high up and under into inside 50. Jack Long underneath it, got hands to it, went back in and grabbed it, kick out of the pack. Dion Mankara at it. Gee, lying down, he's kicked the footy inside 50. Maloney is the one who gathers. Maloney out towards the boundary line. Saints need to work really hard here. Quinn over the ball. Tackled there by Adam Tipper Woody. Really trying to hold it in here. Ball close to the line. Frawley did really well there. Tripping the line, fantastic. He tried to get the handball back from Jared Livingston. Couldn't do so, and the ball pushed out of bounds just in front of our commentary position. Keep an eye on that number five, Quinn, young James Quinn. We've seen his development and improvement over the matches we've seen him, and we expect a good game from him today. Brilliant season he's had so far, Charlie. You're right. You're right in front of our commentary box. I think we can call it a box. A desk. A <laughs> desk here with the breeze, a little bit of a breeze here. Wilson gets the hands out. There's that man, Quinn, that Charlie was talking about. Quick kick forward. Oh. In the pack. Like Darcy, that's Alistair Darcy. Picked up by Harley Putatana Mary, gets rid of the ball. Darcy again in there for a second effort. Palapur Mini started this game very, very well. Kicks it out wide. Roy Farmer can pick this up and go. He's got a paddock in front of him. That's a poor kick. He had a lot of time. Ross Tungatalam gets there. And well done, Yaron. Yaron got there, but it's stolen by Burgess. Delivers it into the 50, and it's cut off by St. Mary's defender in Long. Jacob Long, it was, taking the mark. He showed some promise in his last few games. Kicks it out wide here, looking for Lambton, close to the boundary line, half back. Goes with the left foot. Yeah, That's a poor really kick to a player in the clear. Found him in the end in Richardson. Richardson's kick was poor. Cut off by Burgess. Now, that is a high tackle, and Burgess will take that at right half back for the Tiwi Bombers. He's not playing badly. Burgess, good He's start for him. Good player, isn't he? Kicks it forward, looking for Simon Mankara. And it's gone out of bounds in front of him. So a poor kick by Burgess. Mankara was on a good lead. About three metres off his opponent. Just couldn't hit the target. So ten and a half minutes gone. Tiwi 19, St Mary's yet to score. Is that a worry yet, you reckon, Charlie? For St Mary's, yeah, it certainly is. They're, they're going to find it really hard to score today. Really hard to score. Boundary throw in. One down, only as far as Adam Tip and Woody pursuing him as Quinn. But geez, Quinn is quick. Tip and Woody quicker. Kick inside 50. Ross Tungatalam falling over. Nicholas Yarren, his immediate opponent, bangs it out long. And the mark taken out there. St. Mary's. Mark at half back now. They need to work it out here. Jeffrey with the long kick. Looking there for Wilkinson. Drop the mark that perhaps he should have taken. Again, here's Quinn, showing some promise here in the early stages of this game. Handball set up his teammate in some respects. Wilkinson, can he get rid of the footy? Well, it's stripped and taken away now by the Tiwi Bombers. Kick across half-back, looking for Dion Mankara. Mr. Smooth himself, looking for options here. Just got time, steps around easily. That was Jimmy McMurtry, now goes with the left boot. Could be downfield, would it be called? No, it won't. Oh. And Mark <laughs> taken by Patrick Heenan. So Patrick Heenan in the corridor. 50 from goal, takes the mark. See, that was a good mark, wasn't it? The kick was put out there for him, but uh, he had to stretch for it in the end, and he's such a quality player, isn't he, this man, Patrick Heenan. Played down in Alice Springs a bit, played all over Australia in different places, but, gee, you get him up forward, he's good. And what a great pass came in from Dion Mankar. He's a star, isn't he? All the time in the world to pass it, didn't he? It was a party trick, wasn't it, really? So, Heenan now crosses the plane of 50. Kick is long, it's high to the right the flyers are up no mark play on is the call jason purantata mary gathers from the pocket on the left boot the defender he kicks the goal oh we saw a magnificent game from him last week didn't we that guy jason uh, purantata mary and here he is kicking the goal how many bounces you reckon he had last week oh, about 65 <laughs> <I reckon. laughs> broke the all-time world record oh. and the meters gain oh they're just conferring the umpire has 
Now giving it the all clear. Well, she had to really because I'd already marked it down on my team. <laughs> yeah, so did I. I wasn't going to spoil it. Yeah, we'd have to send it over with our runner, <laughs> which we don't have. Yeah, I was going to say, you're on the outside, guys. I'm in the middle. I can't get out. <laughs> Well, what a start here, Charlie, really. Yeah. Tiwi, Tiwi doing what they should be doing, I think. And Saints just once, I think, in, inside that 50. And uh, yep. what have we played? 13 minutes of footy. Yep. The, the only concern I think Tiwi have is that Ross Tungatalam's fallen over about four times every time the ball's been delivered to him. So interesting to see what sort of boots he's got on. Oh, close mining by Nicholas Yaron. That's a great matchup. Yeah, yeah, so, it uh, yeah. It's a perfect matchup, isn't it? Umpire huh? throws it up high. LWN gets it down. Teammate trying to still get it out. Woodcock Nolan. Look at him. Look at the big man go. Look how many efforts he's had in there. That's four, five. Now Tipper gets a ball out to Nathan Chikura. Delivers it in the 50. Just short of Simon Munkara, but he's got the runners going past. He misses poor Jimmy. Well, Jimmy Ham passes over. Palapormini gets it back. Well, Jimmy should get this, and he's just floated a mongrel kick there and what? straight into the arms of the St Mary's defender, standing right on the goal line. Oh, if that was meant, if that was a pass, it would have been perfect. Now St Mary's with the footy. Marius Clark, the outer half back. Oh, pace there from Darcy just couldn't take the mark. Saints somehow get the footy. Matthias Liddy in the clear. Need to use it here now. Good handball to Ryan Smith. Clear space for Matthias Liddy. Will have the distance here, Matthias Liddy. Pings away at goal. He is a good kick. He makes no mistake on this occasion. One goal to Matthias Liddy. One goal to St Mary's. They trail the Tiwi Bombers 25 to 6 at the 15 minute mark. Well, a few teams have had to work that hard to score their first goal. It took them 14 and a half minutes, and in the end, some good play out there in the handball from uh, Ryan Smith was a good runner. Matthias Liddy, as you said, Dommy's a good kick and he had plenty of space and plenty of time and he threaded that one through. It was a really good kick at goal. There it is. Yeah, it was good. And he also played a good game last week, I thought, oh, Matthias did. Liddy. did one of his best for the season last week. Charlie, just keep a note on Anthony Long, who has just come from the field. He has just taken a heavy knock on that left knee, which oh, is his yep. bad knee, and he's come off the ground now just to have a bit of a break. Smith back into the ruck for St. Mary's, but Woodcock Nolan, LWN wins the tap. Here's Matthias Liddy, the goal kicker for St. Mary's. Burgess puts the pressure on him. Kicked off the ground by Ozzy Wanamiri. Well, Jimmy's there. Good hit off the ball. That was good body work by Quinn. Matthias Liddy ducks a tackle. Hand passes to a teammate. Hand passes out to Ryan Smith. Got a bit of space and time. Kicks it to a teammate and Gavin Durke. Tries to get it around the a Tiwi opponent. He read it too well. Crucial turnover, hits a target. Simon Munkara can wheel around, he does. He's got Oni, Ozzy Wanamiri out wide. He can play on and kick the goal, and he does. Ozzy Wanamiri kicks the goal for Tiwi, and Tiwi have their fifth before 16 minutes into this quarter. So they take a 25-point lead. Well, the former demon showing all the class that we've seen over the years. Good to see him still playing footy too, Ozzy Wanamiri. I thought he might quit, but uh, he didn't, and the, he has again got in space. Got his uh, balance right, got the radar right and kicked a pretty good goal. Gone on with the job, haven't they? Five good, goals to one. Good run here, played on as well and just made sure of it. And a very, very simple lesson there for Gavin Durke that you have to body line the footy. Yeah. You've got to take mm. the footy with you. Out in the suburbs, you can see they're on that shot. People sitting on their veranda can watch us, probably in more comfort than we are. <laughs> <laughs> footy now in the middle, Ryan Smith. Works really hard and then crunched from behind. Loses the footy. Play on is the call. Tiwi away with it. Nice little left foot chip out wide from P.O. Port Jimmy. Has played for St. Mary's before too. Tom Frawley gathers good hands to Lampton. A little bit of time. Chip. Poor. Ryan Smith needed that out in front. Instead, it's Liam Woodcock Nolan taking the footy. Wheels around. Bombs it up really high. Frawley underneath it. So too poor and Tadamiri. Jack Long gathers. He's tackled. Loses the footy. That's a good tackle. Oh, it's on here. Turnover is right there, and Dion Mankara had him. And I would not be surprised if a 50-metre penalty comes out of this. The crowd is certainly calling for it. So the tackle laid. Only a young fella there, so the senior umpire is just going to have a chat to him. So Dion Mankara, nothing additional here. Dion what? Mankara takes the footy. I was just looking at the replay. I mean, there was nothing in the tackle except the arms slipped down around the legs at the last minute. And I, th I think, and then Jack Long was actually pleading with the umpire that he actually managed to get boot to ball just. Well, 17 and a half minutes gone here. 31 plays six. Tiwi looking to really extend their advantage here. And 
the umpire just after Dion Mankara has completely set himself, asked him to move a millimetre to the left. Mankara obliges and then stabs a pass in looking for Harley Poor and Tatamiri. That was ambitious to say the least and the ball dribbles through for a behind and Simon Mankara signals downfield yeah. and says, hey, hey, just have the shot. You'd think if you had that cho choice again, he'd never, he wouldn't do that. That's right. No party tricks just yet. No it's only the first tricks. quarter, 18 minutes into it. Quinn, dangerous kick that goes back to the experience in Jack Long. Chip kick over to Frawley. Has Yaron on the outside, ignores that. Not much up forward, so he's signaled that he's going to kick long, and he does that. Gavin Durkay at the back. So was Jakura. Durkay just hand passes to no one. Lands in the arm of Alistair Darcy. Hits Rostan Gatalam on the chest. Just dummies around the St. Mary's opponent. Kicks it out wide to Ozzy oh. Wanamiri. Runs Ryan Smith inside out with the U-turn and drills the goal. Ozzy Wanamiri has his second, and Tiwi have their sixth. Just too easy there, Charlie. Oh, that little... <laughs> he turned him inside out, Tasha. Absolutely right. He had no chance at all of getting to Wanamiri. Gee, when Tiwi watched this, so he takes the mark. Look at Ross Tungatalam. Yeah, so Tungatalam <laughs> will get it across to him. There's the kick. Just around him. And Big Rhino had nowhere to go. Take a bounce. Have a look. Get your balance. Kick the goal. He's having a big match to, today. And aren't they looking sparkling at the moment, the Tiwi Bombers? And got Smooth. Some, got some key names back in, haven't they? Alastair Darcy, Bradley Palapur, Mini, Dion yeah. Munka. These are all quality yeah. players back into this team. We thought they were looking strong a couple of weeks ago. Well, they are really looking good now. And don't they have that wonderful momentum on their side going into the finals? They're going to be yep. hard to beat this year. Very hard to stop. Up in the ruck was Wilson. Ryan Smith couldn't stop that. Holding on there to Dion Mankara. Thought that was going to be called. Wasn't. Smith goes back in. Good effort from him. Tackled. Loses the footy. Harley Purun Tatameri throws himself in. So too did Ben Rioli. Gavin Durke doing well. Dived at the footy. Really held it up there on behalf of St. Mary's. And... Then, as he often does, Ross Tungatalam just cleared space. Handball to his good mate in Dion Mankara. His handball intended for Austin Wanamiri. Missed the target. Now Tungatalam coming through strongly. Can't get it to a teammate. Yaron taken. Loses oh. the footy. Tungatalam there again. Tackled. Gets the handball away. Quinn got it up to Lambton. Needs to move it on here. Oh. Well. Throw. He's, he's called he's a throw. He's a throw. I thought that was a clear handball to Lambton. Call was made. Free kick. Dion Mankara pops it up, looking for a teammate out wide. Harley Purantata Mary sat underneath that, knew the contact was coming, and took the mark. Another good player last week as well, Harley oh, Purantata oh, I loved his game. He was outstanding. Mary, wasn't he? The motorbike, you used to call him? Yeah. Outstanding. Harley Purantata Mary, and has an opportunity, can you believe it, to kick their seventh goal, Charlie King? It's a good start, isn't it? It'd be a fantastic start from there. Let's just see what they, if they can go on with the job here and get a big, big win here. That, uh, that uh, percentage will be very handy. It can be a hard pocket to kick from, uh, this pocket that he's in. So it's not an easy kick, this one. You may recall their first quarter in this corresponding match last year, Charlie. Tiwi versus Waratah. Yeah. Harley Porantar to marry the shot at goal. He started it right. It stayed right. So we're behind. So 21 minutes gone here. 38 points to six. Tiwi well and truly in command. So Tiwi won that game against that Waratahs. That was earned. to get into the final. Yeah, got into they, the finals, then they bowed out the following but week. But they belted them in the first quarter. Yeah. And yeah. Exactly the same. Yeah. And then the following week they were... Beaten they, by St. Mary's. Yeah, they played their final the week before and Saints knocked them out. Jack Long finds Paris. Paris with a poor kick to Quinn. Quinn's got to do well to get out of here. It's under enormous pressure from Tiwi. Paddy Heenan. Spins out of a tackle, quickly gets it on the boot. Numbers hit by us over the head of Ross Tungatalam. Hand pass forward, taps forward by Ozzy Wanamiri. Too easy, Tiwi, and they just missed the goal. Oh, oh. I reckon that was Bradley. Bradley Palapormini. Yeah, Palapormini. But just the enormous pressure here, and poor Jack Long doesn't have much to kick to. They just can't clear the defensive here yeah. of Tiwi. Well, here's Maloney calling out here at halfback. He can certainly reach that distance. Jack Long decides not to go there. Misses his target in close. Close to the boundary. Quinn gathers, takes over. A very, very professional moment there from James Quinn. Did exactly what he needed to do. And what a first quarter yeah. he has had. Yeah. And he, he, he knew that uh, Paddy Heenan was running at him, but he knew he had to touch that ball, so it didn't give out. him a free kick. Yeah, yet. I was just thinking that experience on that uh, young fellow's shoulders is pretty good. So from the ruck contest now, Maloney. It's stolen away here by Jakura. He sighted the goal. in the tree. And had a crack. 
He's uh, up the top tier of the deck there. It's a top tier of the mahogany you, tree on well, the you, left forward pocket. You don't have that very often still to ground, do you, that the ball could have actually got stuck in the tree? <laughs> Some have to go again. He, um, he tried to kick that on the outside he of, the, he did. of his right foot. It didn't work. So the free kick by Ben Rioli. Look at it. It's a thumping kick. Lampton can pick it up. A little bit of time. He just dances with it. Turns the ball over. Delivers in the 50. And Dion Mankara takes the mark. Quickly plays on to Simon Mankara in a better angle. Directly in front of goals. 35 metres out. Don't want to put the mockers on him. But this is usually a gimme goal for Dion Mankara. Was playing brilliant footy all season. Unfortunately got suspended for a couple of games. Probably takes him out of the running for the Nichols medal. Keeps it low, stabs it and drills the goal. Dion Mankara has his first. And the Tiwi have seven. 23 and a half minutes gone. And Tiwi are leading by 40 points. Seven and uh, seven goal kickers too, I think, isn't it? Or no, no, six. Austin Wanamiri with oh, two. Charlie. Yeah, Austin's got two, of course. Only because I didn't highlight him. Oh. Now I have. <laughs> you, you wouldn't want to not highlight uh, it's Austin Wanamiri. It's the heat, Charlie. It's the heat. It's, <laughs> it's right. affecting your brain already. <laughs> Harley, Harley Purundadamiri coming off for a bit of a spell. I don't like these clouds Jimmy. coming over either. No, that's a storm coming in from... You can just see it off to the right there. You can't actually pick it up on that shot. But uh, it, it'll come in. It rained a little heavier earlier on. Wilson up in the ruck contest against Maloney. Clean bowls tip him under Mary in the middle. Not Nathan Jakura. He picked that up beautifully. Out wide now to Palapur Mini. Kick up through to centre half forward. Braxton arm that. Well done for St Mary's. Flew high and backwards. Knew there'd be contact coming. Took the mark. Now out wide to Ben Rioli. Looking to go by hand. Does that. Looks for the one two. Receives. Great chase. Put off the kick. And running through nicely there for Saints was Jimmy McMurtry. Kick up into half forward. Nice mark taken. Baden Nichols has an opportunity to have a shot on goal. Came off the side of the boot. Silvani Babui down there looking to take possession, but he's taken the ball over the boundary line, so there'll be a boundary throw in. Left forward pocket, a rare opportunity for the green and gold in this first quarter. This will be painful for St Mary's and their supporters, this exhibition they're seeing right now. From that ruck contest now, Wilkinson tried to take the footy, was beaten to it by Jakura, the kick high up and under, Dykes underneath it, Courage again, takes the marker, takes it really well, will steady play here in defence for the Tiwi Bombers. As a player about 20 metres in front of him, ignores that. As the... Quarter time the siren. siren. Yep, no, they haven't yeah. heard it, I don't think. The umpires said a bit of confusion here, so play on. We'll stay with the... No, definitely, no. definitely, they've called it. They've finally called it. So, quarter, quarter time here, the siren brings it to a close. It's yeah. a good lead here for the... Tiwi Bombers have kicked to seven goals, four to St Mary's, one goal. Quarter time at Tracy Village Oval.
réaction. Second quarter about to get uh, underway here. Interesting stat to come out of that. Tiwi Bombers have increased their percentage by 2.6%. They go up to 98.78. Darwin, who sit in front of them, have 100%. So both those teams win today, Darwin and Tiwi. And Tiwi continue the way they're going. Their percentage will overpass Darwin. So maybe they knew that when they went out, the Tiwi Bombers. They're playing to get a double chance today, as we said earlier. Ball tossed high. Maloney up against LWN. Beats him to it on this occasion. Footy comes back to him. Jack Long. Hammers his way through, couldn't take the footy. Matthias did his socket once, didn't get a second opportunity. Jack Long does, did beautifully. Got a handball out wide to Ben Rioli. Long kick, target is Ryan Smith. Got himself in front, couldn't take the mark. Baden Nichols was there, couldn't take possession. Tiwi now look to extract from defence. Kick out, went to Ben Rioli. Handball there to Ryan Smith. Back to Ben Rioli. Chip went nowhere really. And from defence now, Burgess kicks out wide looking for the Adams Chip and Woody or the boundary line. Finds the boundary. Good clearance there from Tiwi. Good defence immediately to start this second quarter. As he goes over the fence to grab the footy. No one's sitting over there watching. Much shade over there. That's a 40-point margin. It's a pretty good way to start the second quarter, Natasha. He's on centre wing. The umpire's going to ball it in. LWN. See there against Maloney. Maloney went all right in the first quarter. Wins a position. Can't hit it forward. All the Tiwi players here. LWN tries to hit it back out to a teammate. Paddy Heenan started the quarter again well. Delivers it into the 50. Nathan Jakura should mark this. He does. Just okay. read the ball off the boot a lot better, Charlie, and just got himself in the right position. So he's taking the mark. The man on the mark's about 40 metres out. Slight angle. Definitely got the distance, Nathan Shakura. Well, just the way that ball went, I got the feeling the breeze might have swung around mm -hmm. and yeah. blowing to that end. And T, we would love that. St Mary's would be asking some questions. There's no flags. Him looking at the top of the trees, and it's a little bit swirly down that end. But does the breeze grab it? No. So through for a behind. Good start to T, we but looking dangerous again. Yeah, it's a footy exhibition, isn't it, from the team from over on the islands? So Yaron now to bring the ball back into play. That's a cheeky kick. He goes to Ben Rioli, who's hammered there by Nathan Jakura. Rioli took the mark. Both of them quality footballers. He's going to chip out wide. That was very obvious. That was going to Yaron. Heenan was onto it. Just couldn't get there in time to spoil. Yaron now to kick down the line. Target will be Maloney. Liam Woodcock Nolan in front. Alastair Darcy floated across. Tip and Woody, I think it was, and just got the footy around it. Darcy just weaves his way through, goes to Dion Mankara, has a target. The lead was from Nathan Jakura, takes the mark in the corridor. Alistair Darcy. He is a quality effort. player, and speaking of quality players, Jakura kicks the ball forward, and the man with two goals to his name already was essentially in space. Austin Wanamiri, how could you possibly leave him in space? And you might have just heard the, the win there in the in the mics yeah. so the wind is actually blowing and it is blowing to that end so Timmy Bomber's kicking with the breeze here so Austin Wanamere two goals in the first quarter slightly right of centre kick on its way here he's a good cold kicker is Austin Wanamere he has three to his name and he starts off the second quarter here for the Tiwi Bombers in fine style they move to 8-5 53 St Mary's one straight six I wonder what the coach would have said to the Tiwi Bombers at that quarter don't take your foot off the pedal here Kick another seven goals in this quarter. Keep them down to one or two. And, um, you know, the game and the percentage will carry you into the, the double chance. And that can be hard sometimes, Charlie. I know, you know, they're, they're, they're winning the ball here, but to go out there and keep pushing yourself, it can be hard against a team that aren't really pushing back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To keep that momentum going and just to make sure you keep to your structures. It, it can be hard at, at times when you look at this score line mm -hmm. just to keep going. Back in the middle. Well done, Maloney. Gets it to Jack Long. Out to Matthias Liddy. Good clearance by St. Mary's. A good punch away by the 
Babui, the Tiwi defender. Again, they go in. Tiwi just looked dangerous. Kicked off the ground by Mungatopi. Only as far as St. Mary's play, but a poor turnover there. Could have delivered it into the 50. Picked up by Wilkinson. It's an up and under kick. Ryan Smith's trying to get there. It's close to the boundary and it goes out of bounds for a boundary throw and deep in the forward pocket for St. Mary's. Just as a forward, Ryan Smith, he's got the height there, but they're just delivering it too high, aren't they? And they yeah. need to hit his chest. And do you know what? It's a good move having Matthias Liddy in the middle, I reckon. He's got that strong body. He can just charge out of there, get the clearances. He's done a few of those. Boundary throw in now. Smith wins it down. Burgess crashes his way through, rips through a tackle, kicks long now out towards centre wing. Jakura drops the mark. Can he pick it up? Yes, I oh, just too much time. Richardson just could not get back onto him. Now Tiwi, Adam Tippenwoody has a bounce. The flashing orange boots. And Jason Purantata Mary takes the mark. They needed to hold him. He runs towards goal and just drills that straight through the middle. Purantata Mary, the usual fullback. Two goals to his name at the five-minute mark of this second quarter. Oh, talk about coast to coast. How was that? That was just all too easy in the end. And uh, Saints will be feeling pretty embarrassed about all of that. It was a great goal. Good one to Jason Purantata Mary, too, for the match. Look at the speed shown by Tip and Woody. And the perfect kick, just well weighted the back. And then just takes off. No one there. Frawley, had, Frawley had to hold him up. Charlie had to hold him up. Yeah. Hung his head, let go of him straight away. And poor Tata Mary could feel that and off, off he him. went. Saints have really got to switch on here, particularly some of their more experienced play, players like a Tom Frawley. They need to show some leadership here. And a couple of goals in five minutes. Woodcock Nolan. That's Tatman. Ruckman can't get the tap there. Kicked out from the middle by Paris. That's better. And that's better on the chest to Ryan Smith. A lot better. Gave him a chance to run it at the big man. Yeah, cleared right. it up in front. And, and he, he does. He's a known goal kicker when he moves forward, the big Ruckman in Ryan Smith. Didn't play last week. Played the reserves last week. As we see LWN come off. Jeez, he's a giant, isn't he? Gentle giant, I must say. Nice bloke. Got to meet him last week. Last weekend. Him and his wife from Cairns. So with Ryan Smith, very gettable. Smithy. And just misses to the far side. They threw for a behind there, first behind. Still trailing the Tiwi Bombers. Six and a half minute mark. So Roy Farmer now with a little chip to bring the footy into play. Marius Clark trying to put some pressure on, but Tiwi away here. Lovely kick out to Alastair Darcy. That was from Palapur Mini. Darcy, class player, pops it out in front of Patrick Heenan, just couldn't gather, Quinn does, handballs to a teammate, looking for a little bit of movement down the ground, kicks towards Maloney, but the kick was poor under pressure, and bounces out of bounds, Palapormini tracking that over. He made the he made the right positioning, didn't he, he Maloney, did. and they he just did. couldn't hit him. Yeah, the kick wasn't, the kick was no idea good enough. He hasn't given up Maloney here, he's uh, working his heart out here, for St Mary's. Had some good ones. Jack Long's been good. James Quinn, we mentioned. Ben Rioli, Matthias Liddy. They need some lift from some of those lesser players. Maloney used his body well against Wilson. You're holding on to there, but Nathan Jakira got away with it. Hand pass. There's no look hand pass if you don't mind. And dropping the ball was Wilson. The umpire says play on. Comes out of the pack is Richardson. Richardson delivers it straight onto the chest of Michael Dunn. Michael Dunn now kicks out wide. Looking for and finding a teammate. Out there was uh, William Virgil Purantata Mary. Now the ball into inside 50. Ball gathered by Jacob Long. Just lost the handle there for a moment. Still in. Sockers it off the ground. Who's out there for the Tiwi Bombers? Oh, slipping and falling over. Dom Randy Mungatobi. Interrupt there. Michael Wilson's got an injury coming off for the Tiwi Bombers. Hurt that left leg and it doesn't look good. That was in that tackle a moment ago, yeah. I think, as we see the ball go out of bounds for a boundary throw in here. Left, far, left half forward for the Tiwi Bombers. And he's been really good, um, Wilson, the chopping out in the ruck. Not much, He doesn't have the size to, but I tell you what, he uses his body really well. That's not a corky. I reckon that's a shin injury for him. Tiwi, Nathan Jakura, dangerous around these stoppages to start this second quarter. Lampton, hand passes to himself. He's under a lot of pressure by Heenan. Kicks it towards the boundary line. Nicholas is there for St. Mary's. And the ball goes out of bounds. You hear the wind just picking up slightly as we still see the clouds coming over in the distance. Do you know, Tasha, I come here early and the TV bombers were out there a long time having a 
stretches and few few run throughs. You know, they know this oval and they got good preparation. Well done, Heath Maloney there to win that ruck contest. Taken away though by Harley Poor and Tudamiri belted in a tackle just as he got rid of the footy. Richardson up against Burgess, just pushed off it too easily. Burgess getting it away here to Adam Tippenwoody. Richardson there in there again, but they got the handball away to Heenan. Heenan now just kicking hope in a sense into midfield. Went to Shane Tippen under Mary, steps one way, then the oh. other. Got away from Jack Long, that was magnificent. Tippen under Mary now gets it away here to P.O. Poor Jimmy. Caught in a tackle, well done and dropping the ball. Oh, well done. He ducked into it. He Good did. umpiring. That yep. was the right call. The umpires must watch the ducking and make the call when it happens. Durkay underneath it and takes the mark beautifully. Gavin Durkay, well done. Taking the mark there at centre wing. Now he needs to use the footy here. Who can he find? Kick looks good off the boot. Target is Ryan Smith. Good contest between he and Dyke. Purantata Mary gathered. That's Harley. Durkay there again. Went for the slips catch. Left the footy behind. Then wrestled for it with his teammate. Now he's going to be pinged for it, is he? No, he's not. The umpire calls it, and they'll ball it up on centre wing. Good effort there by Dirk, eh? You're right with the slip sketch. Would have looked good if he took it. <laughs> Cook Nolan, but Heath Maloney wins it. Tap down. Jack Long can pick it up. Hand passes to a teammate. Hand passes forward. Good link linkage here by St. Mary's. Up and under and underneath it was the St. Mary's player. I think that's Nichols. Yep, Baden Nichols. So directly in front, you have to kick it from about 45. Needs to keep it low here. Absolutely no breeze whatsoever. Just looking at the top of the trees. We don't know too much about Baden Nichols, do we? No, I think it's the first time I've called him. Baden Nichols for St. Mary to get their second on the board. Straight as he snuck it in, he has. The umpire didn't move. Well done to Baden Nichols and St. Mary's have their second on the board. Still trailing Tiwi by seven goals at 11 minutes gone in the second quarter. But just a, a good change of hand passes there and running forward and an up and under kick, but Nichols managed to get hold of it. And I think the good move, Charlie, has been putting uh, Jack Long in the centre. Yeah, Matthias did in Jack Long. They're working them out of the centre. They send the two bulldozers in and he got out then Jack Long. So he set that up, Jack Long, with his good hard run out the middle. It was a good mark taken by Baden Nichols and his kick was a good one. I think they had to because they had Shane um, Tippett-Mary in there and also Nathan Chikura. So they, need, they needed the big bodies to go in there and match up against Tiwi. Ball tossed high now. Maloney up against Liam Woodcock-Nolan. Ball down. Straight down to Jack Long. Just couldn't get it. Good harassment came from Ross Tungatalam. Players crash in here. Trying to bulldoze his way through with Shane Tippem under Mary. The ball flicked back to him. Marius Clark was held there for a moment. But the umpire says, I will have it. Yeah. Uh, There's kick. a number of whistles here. Yes, there is indeed a free kick. I'm not sure what the call was, but that has gone straight to Ross Tungatalam. And it's gone against Ben Rioli. And he drills that inside 50. Gathered by Simon Mankara. Goes there to Jakura. Steps one way. Oh. Lovely little chip. Bounces up out of the hands of Patrick Heenan. Grabs it on the second <laughs> bite. Hammers away at goal. Puts it straight through the middle. And I think that is their 10th goal for the afternoon. Nathan Jakura. Wow, that was magnificent. Patrick, yeah, Heenan, Patrick Heenan kicks his first. But they move on now to... 10 goals, 5, 65, St. Mary's 2-1, 13. Look at the spin away, and then he just chips it in Marvel. nicely. It was a good pass. A two players running, running at him as well, and he knew exactly what he was doing and where his player was. They're those two, you see him there together, um, combining so well, Jakura and Patrick Heenan. Yes. They're going to be a worry for other teams. Oh, they are. Supporters looking on there. Good crowd here today. A lot of TV Bombers supporters here I saw when I come in. They were all excited about this. Ryan Smith's been moved into the ruck, comes down to Jack Long. He's going to the clearance for St. Mary's and hits the chest of Gavin Durkay. What a pass. A good play, Gavin, Dur Gavin Durkay's fired up, isn't he? So Durkay, not much forward, not much movement. Ross Tungatalan's put himself in the hole. So he goes to the top. Oh. It's a mongrel kick. <laughs> Lands in the arms of Harley Punatana Mary. He couldn't take the mark. Nichols is in there for St. Mary's. Trying to shovel it out was a Tiwi player. Dyke goes without it, picks it up again. Good hit by Ben Rioli. Out wide to Dyke. Dyke with a massive hand pass. Ben Rioli's putting the pressure on out there. Just stops the play, the momentum of Tiwi. But the hand pass, the big man's running into the midfield. Good mark taken by Michael Dunn. Right in the middle of the field here. Just slows down the play, chips it over the top. 
to Paddy Heenan. He didn't realise it was coming to him. He was waiting for the front and centre. Dion Mankara gets the hand pass over to a teammate in Nathan Jukura. Kicks it to Jason Putatana Mary. Can't take the mark. St. Mary's trying to clear. Simon Mankara puts pressure on him. He takes it through. Was the pressure there within the 20? Oh, very lucky through for a behind. I thought that was probably lucky there not to get the free kick to Tiwi. So Tom Frawley now with the kick in. His target is Wilkinson, but LWN is there. That was just the wrong place to kick the footy when the big man's in town. P.O. Poor Jimmy fumbled, left it behind. Saints gather. Smith now kicking out, looking for Baden Nichols. Over the top there was Silvani Babui, just couldn't mark the footy. Michael Dunn gathers in front of Durke, has a bit of support from Babui. Now chips back inboard. Purantata Mary Harley will gather, just has a bounce, runs away from Matthias Diddy, chips beautifully to Patrick Heenan, just easy as you like. Harley Purantata Mary running on into space. Patrick Heenan just steadying down here. There are so many options here, the Tiwi Bombers. Shane Tippem under Mary out wide. Jacob Long pursuing the footy, ran hard at it. Well done, Jacob Long. Picks up, needs to find oh, a teammate, tackled well. Follow up Shane Tippem under Mary. The follow up was magnificent. Ball spills, goes to Ross Tungatalam. He chips into a teammate. No mark taken there by Mankara. Ball comes out here to Livingston. Livingston off to Ben Rioli. Needs to steady here as Jacob Long has hurt his right arm. Ball on centre wing for St. Mary's. Jeffrey over, taken high in the tackle, clearly. The umpire says play on. Ben Rioli over the top. Didn't give away a free kick and ball out of bounds for a boundary throw in on centre wing. Interesting passage of play and all of that, wasn't it? No one really had the ascendancy, but some pretty ferocious tackling going on. Out Saint there. Saints lifting their work rate. They did, and they did well to stop the momentum of running forward that Tiwi had rebounding out of defence. Ryan Smith takes it out of the rough. Hand passes over to Ben Rioli. Can't hit his target. Takes it on the bounce, does Quinn. Hand passes back to Ryan Smith. The big ruckman just kept running. Hits it to his other ruckman and Maloney. Maloney just hits it forward to himself. Dribbles it across the face of goal and had a teammate on as well in Paris. Oh, unfortunate there, the big ruckman, but he had a teammate on that he yeah. burnt. Well, he wanted to bounce up for him. It didn't, it didn't quite work out that way. So out of fullback now, Roy Farmer. Finds his counterpart defender in Sam Dyke. And look at this, just hugging the boundary line beautifully here. Tiwi Bombers playing this match beautifully. Ross Tungatalam not having a spectacular match so far, but takes the footy at half back, drives it into space, gives his teammates something they can run onto. Braxton R. Matt used his body beautifully there to get Dion Mankara out of the way. Got it off to Yaron, evades the tackle of Austin Wanamery, chips out to Ryan Smith. What a second quarter Ryan Smith's having. Tries to push off an opponent, succeeds, gets it to Nicholas Yaron, pops it up here. Looking for Wigney, couldn't find the handle. Roy Farmer tries to dash away. Handball to Alastair Darcy, back in board to Burgess. Burgess out wide to Roy Farmer, sets him a challenge close to the boundary. And that should be a turnover of the footy there. He tossed it straight into the back of Wilkinson. Nothing w doing from w the umpire. Wilkinson immediately looked around at the umpire who wasn't even looking at him. Um, I was just thinking, Yaron's the only St Mary's player there who could match any of these TV bombers for pace. He's very quick, isn't he? Oh, and Quinn, I think. Maloney, yeah. Woodcock, Nolan, they both miss at the Ruckman. Burgess is there, uses his body well. Look at him, he's a machine here. And kicks it out of bounds on the full, just when I pumped him up, so. Yeah. <laughs> Commentator's curse. And he cops a little bit of, from Bra Braxton, Braxton Armat. Armat. Yeah, yeah. And, and, Jack, and now from Jack Long. And Jack Long as well, just letting him know. So free kick going here to Frawley. I tell you what, he is going to be an important cog. Burgess when it comes to the yeah, final. He's a hard nut. Oh, the size of his body. And good body work there by Alistair Darcy. Not much of him against the Ruckman, but did well. Picked up by the St. Mary's player. Drives it in. Looking for Matthias Liddy. Should take this. He does. The perfect pass. So <laughs> It hung in the air. Oh, that's, that's a hard mark to take, Charlie. It was swirling in the, in the breeze. Went about 50 metres up in the air. So Matthias Liddy has a goal, well within his range. He's going to have to kick it from about 48, 45 degree angle. Man on the mark, Michael Dunn. Drills it from 50, hangs in the air. Does he get inside the goals? No, it just swings away 
through for a behind. It was a good kick from Matthias Liddy. St. Mary's still trailing 49 points. 19 minutes gone in the second quarter. Yeah, 10, 7 to 2, 3. Roy Farmer now brings it into Patrick Heenan. He is the everywhere man today, Patrick Heenan. Oh, just reels it off beautifully to Darcy. Dragged it in with the one hand. Handball was instant off to Bradley Palapoa. Mini has a couple of bounces. Fires the ball down the line. Jason Poor and Mary couldn't quite handle. Over the footy now, Jimmy McMurtry working hard, but so too Simon Mankara. Handballs off here to Adam Tippingwoody. Tippingwoody to Jakura. Good run by Poor and Mary. They say have the shot. Off on the left boot. Magnificent oh. from Poor and Mary and his teammates. He's got his third on the board, equaling Austin Wanamary. Oh, he could go up to his teammates there and pat them all on the back because they set that up for him. All he had to do was run down the corridor. They took it out wide, series of handballs, got him in space. You'll see it here. And uh, he was able to kick the goal. He ran away from the goals a bit in the end. It was a good handball over the top from Simon Mankara. And then on further, Adam Tippenwoody. And here it's going to finish up with him. So he's running away from goals or across the face of goals and no problem at all to kick the goal. Well done. And you just can't tell whether he's a right foot or a left no. foot. Yeah. Jason Bourne's Class, very So sensational. natural. And I guess with Michael Dunn coming back and Alistair Darcy has allowed him to move forward. So... Yep. You see Michael Dunn go to fullback to pick up Ben Rioli. So they've got the coverage here. Ryan Smith does well against the big ruckman. Matthias Liddy. Jack Long can't pick it up. Now he does. Needs to get rid of it. Hand passes to Matthias Liddy. Tries to break the tackle. Back to Jack Long. Under a lot of pressure. Drops the ball. Umpire says play on. Jack Long again gets the rushed hand pass out. Dyke. Quick kick out of the ruck by the Tiwi defender. Delivers a pass into Nichols. So St. Mary's did well. Worked that ball back into their forward line. Not a very good kick. The Ruckman goes without it. Wilkinson can't make boot to ball. Kicks out Clark. Two on one here. Nathan Jakura goes to ground. Good tackle by Nicholas Yaron and jumps up. Gets the ball back. Well done, Nicholas Yaron. Kicks it up towards his Ruckman, but just struggling to get boot to ball. Enough pressure put on again by Nicholas Yaron. And the mm. ball goes out of bounds in front of us. It should have been deliberate, but the umpire says ball it in. Oh, I think it was a missed kick. I think that's a fair call. Yeah. I think it's a fair call. But it, it, the pass along that was in, was going to be intended for Tunga Tullum, who was unhappy. He didn't get it. Well done, Nicholas Yaron. Those three efforts. Yep, he's playing a good game here, Nicholas Yaron. Now we throw in now Ryan Smith to go up against Liam Woodcock Nolan. Big men wrestled. Smith gets the fingernail to it. Hitting the ball hard was Mankara. So to Matthias Liddy. Liddy back in there again. Shane tip him under Mary. Juggled the footy and Free kick from throw. throws the call. And so give it back to Jack Long. So Jack Long with the free kick here on centre wing. Could go across the ground to free space. Ignores that. Goes towards the target. And Smith clears him. Baden Nichols was at the back. He had a lot of space. Now needs to fight hard for it. His opponent goes to ground. Nichols picks up. Goes to Ryan Smith. Smith tackled. Loses the footy. Play on was the call. Tiwi Bombers swarm in numbers as they have done all afternoon. Handball comes out the back for them. Gathered by Whitney. High up and under. Wilkinson needs to crash the pack. He doesn't. Quinn instead from the front of the pack. Left high. Took the mark. Passes backwards unselfishly and goes to Matthias Liddy. Good thinking by Quinn. And Matthias Liddy, good th thinking as well. He, he turned around immediately and made it very clear he wasn't going to pass to anybody. <laughs> no, that, it's a hard pocket to, to kick from over there. So Quinn did the right thing, James Quinn, and kicked it to the uh, Matthias Liddy that's a noted goal kicker. So Matthias Liddy, opportunity to hear to kick his second of the afternoon. Kick on its way. Oh, that's through. That is a goal. Matthias Liddy has his second. St. Mary's, they have their third. They move on to 3 3 21. Trailing the Tiwi Bombers here. 11 6 72. We've gone 23 minutes in this second quarter. Sin, you can't be critical of someone who's prepared to have a shot at goal, but that's uh, the score it is at half time here, and it's a big lead to the Tiwi Bombers. Half time here at the Tracy Village Oval. 11 oh, 6 the Tiwi Bombers play. leading St. Mary's 3 3. Um, 
Hello and a big welcome to Tracy Village Oval here in Darwin. It is round 18 in the NTFL competition. It's the last minor round match and the Tiwi Bombers hosting, if you like, uh, St Mary's here because Tiwi Bombers have played many more games here and will probably start favourites for this match. Although St Mary's trying to avoid the wooden spoon, they need a big performance today. The Tiwi Bombers, though, with lots to play for. If they get a big win and Darwin lose, they can grab that third spot and a double chance in the final. Joining us in commentary, Dominic McCormack. Dom, it's... Uh, a game where St Mary's have got a lot to play for and so have the Tiwi Bombers. Yeah, both teams, Charlie, indeed, a lot to play for. St Mary's, as you say, to lose the, to get the wooden spoon. But, uh, gee, the Tiwi Bombers, they want to make sure they shape up beautifully for a final series in which they will have an impact, I think. Tiwi Bombers like playing here. Tash, don't they? They've played here before. You've played here before too. Tough ground to play at. Yeah, it is, Charlie. It's a lot smaller than the other grounds and Tiwi uh, usually play very, very well here just knowing that they can get the ball out of the centre and drill it straight into the 50 and using their speed. But looking forward to seeing how Tiwi, you know, go into the momentum in, with finals next week but also with a lot of big players back in Alistair Darcy and Michael Dunn. Game not that far away. It's an important game for both these teams. Yeah, like I want to ride through the 
Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Hello and a big welcome to Tracy Village Oval in Darwin. It is round 18 of the NTFL competition. This is the final round and so much to play for because final spots are up for grabs. And Mary's playing to avoid the wooden spoon. They need a good effort here if they can do that. And the Tiwi Bombers, well, a big win for them. And if Darwin don't win or Darwin win by less, Tiwi Bombers can grab that all-important third spot and a double chance. Good game in front of us with a lot on the line. Dominic McCormick, we don't mind being at Tracy Village Oval. No, Charlie, good spot to be. And as you say, a very important game this afternoon, particularly for the Tiwi Bombers. They need to put in a really good effort. They've got a final series to look forward to, and I think they can make a real impact with it. They'd like to think this is their home ground a, a bit, I reckon, the Tiwi Bombers. Tash, you've seen them play here quite a few times. You've played here as well. What's this oval like to play on? Yeah, it's a lot smaller oval than the Tiwi Oval or the other ovals that they play at, but it is a good oval to play at. It's hard... Um, you know, to chase the Tiwi players because it's so small. Once they take off, you know, they're within goal range. So it's really, really hard. But also looking forward to seeing how Tiwi take their momentum into the coming coming into the finals next week. But big inclusions with Alistair Darcy and uh, Michael Dunn as well back this week. Yeah, momentum so very important going into the finals. It is with the Tiwi Bombers, but it's a good match. Stay with us, won't you? Match the start in just a moment. Thank you. 
spéciale, ce qui convient vraiment pour ce match, donc il est bas, hein? Well, second half about to get underway here in St Mary's trail by 51 points. Tiwi Bombers led by 40 at quarter time, 51 here at half time. Second half about to get underway. Here's Dominic McCormick. LWN, Liam Woodcock, Nolan, been good in the ruck. Up against Heath Maloney. Big men go at it. Neither of them really win it down. Matthias Liddy's the one who gets a nice little tap out. Got that to a teammate in Frawley. Frawley back to Liddy. Good handball of Frawley. Well done. Straight inside 50. No mark taken. Dyke tracks the ball close to the boundary line. Weaves his way in. Borgie did well. Sam Dyke got the ball away to Michael Dunn. Takes one look at... Sam Dykin says, no, nah, I can run twice as fast as you can, plus a bounce. <laughs> Does exactly that. Kicks long down the line, into the middle. Goes to Dion Mankara. Bullet-like pass to a teammate in Jason Purantadamere, but cut off by Jacob Long, who's showing that he can play at this level of footy. Kicks it down the line. Back of the pack, Alistair Darcy should clean this up for Tiwi. Important player in the first half. Missed last couple of weeks. He's come back in and played very, very well. Linking up with Pio Poor Jimmy. Simon Mankara, Alistair Darcy kept running and hits oh. Paddy Heenan on the chest. Brilliant footy by Tiwi. Good work again by Jacob Long to cut that off. Ben Rioli, back to Rioli. Jack Long's in there as well. Dangerous here. Jason Punatanameri picks it up. Goes for goal and just misses. So he snapped for goal, just went across the face and threw for a behind. So one, one minute 
15 seconds gone, and they're already looking dangerous. Yeah, they went from one end of the ground to the other. They, uh, Jason Poole and Tata Mary would have had four goals there, two in that second term, one in the first. Gee, booming kick from Jack Long out towards half back. A little bit of holding there for Jimmy McMurtry. Tiwi turnover straight to tip him under Merry. Couldn't handle. Burgess came through. He couldn't handle either. Errant handball. Missed the target. Goes straight to tip him under Merry. Now through to P.O. Poor Jimmy. Off to Dion Mankara. He bangs away on the left. Starts at left. Curled around a little, but not enough. And through for another behind. So one minute, 52 seconds. Two, two scoring shots, both points. Yeah, and just a little bit of drop in concentration for Tiwi Bombers there. These goals are really important. If you want percentage, you've got to kick them. Jack Long again with the kick out. Trying to clear the defensive line they do with Clark, but just straight to a Tiwi player and Darcy. Just positioning himself so well. Lost to Dunn. Two players I spoke about at the start of this game. Important players for them, and they're showing that. Kicks it over to a teammate in Adam Tip and Woody. Brilliant kick. Ross Tungatalam and 50. Jack Long. That's 50. <sighs> against Nathan Jakura is getting absolutely belted by Jack Long. Well, that's going to be 50 metres. It should be a report. The book's out. So that's uh, that's a poor effort, really, from St Mary's. So we just watch here. He's saying that he was pushed into it. Just watch here on the replay. No, there was nothing in that. That's just... A he was not pushed into that. That is just terrible. That should be 50 as well. He hasn't marched in Ford. No, they have now. And Ross Tungatalam kicks the goal. Jack Long against Nathan Jakura. Jeez. Well, it's, that's not good at any time of the season. And that no. really, the last game of the year, you just, Jack Long, you just don't want to be doing that. that that's a blatant he, free kick and 50 metres as well, he really. He showed a bit of frustration last week as well. Probably lucky to be playing this week, I thought, but um, he's just, he's been playing such a good game as well. His Absolutely. experience and his leadership out there is just so vital for St. Mary's. And to uh, to do things like that now, okay, this season's done and dusted, but that, this actually then potentially, I only say potentially, affects next year. it affects the beginning of next yeah. season. Yeah. It was premeditated that hit in the back there, that just, you know, you can pull out of that, really. So in the ruck contest now, Ryan Smith won the ruck contest, won the footy, handball to Tom Frawley. He was too interested in running at LWN. Ryan Smith goes through and does it all himself. Soccer's inside 50. Matthew Jeffrey couldn't take the mark. Scrimmage is on. Good tackles being laid. And dropping the ball is the call. There's the man again, Alistair Darcy. His profile is just growing and growing as this game goes on. Lovely ball to Ross Tungatalam. Just runs easily away from Tom Frawley. They're just playing with them here. How did he do that? Got it away, and that's a poor kick inside 50. And as Charlie King said a moment ago, a little bit of lair rising happening here, but Ross Tungatala, that's beautifully handled. Off to Jason Purantata Mary. He had a flying shot a moment ago. That wasn't a flyer. That was from four metres out, and he's kicked his fourth, one in the first, two in the second, and now he starts it off again in the third quarter. Well done, Jason Purantata Mary. Well done, Tiwi. They're looking awesome, Charlie. Oh, what an incredible goal that was. They're just playing fantastic footing. You're right, they're just, they're just toying with St Mary's at the moment. And let's hope St Mary's just keep their concentration and keep their respect for the game and their opponents here because they're, getting, uh, they're really getting tailed up here. And Ross Tonga told him he was on centre wing, That's got right. the kick away and then got the hand pass away in yep. the 50, so just kept running. Good, yep. so good just, gut running. Just goes to show he doesn't necessarily do everything spectacular. He works hard too. Yeah, which is good. That's what you want. In the middle... Shane to, to Mary's in there. Just hustling the St. Mary's players of the Tiwi players here. Matthias Liddy taps it to himself. Good work, Matthias Liddy. He's trying his heart out there. So is Ryan Smith. Needs to yeah, kick it, does. Delivers it into the 50. Wigney drops a mark. I thought he had good position there. Gets the ball out wide. Lampton goes to ground. Needs to keep his feet. Michael Dunn. The everywhere man, and no one is on Shane Tip to Mary. Kicks it out wide, probably a little bit too wide. P.O. poor Jimmy, and the boundary line just beats him. Probably need to go forward, and you can see Nathan Jakura just letting him know there. Yeah. Probably need the, to go forward. Didn't need that switch on. Yep, stay in the corridor. Yeah. And, um, gee, yeah. they, uh, they're just running Michael Dunn into form, and they, oh. that's a worry for any of the teams because he's a great rebounder oh. off the halfback line, isn't he? Him and Alistair Darcy are killing it there. 
Ryan Smith now wins the contest straight down to Jack Long. Handball off to Jacob Long. Another nice little handball to Nick Yarren. Goes on the left boot. Misses a target. Well picked up by Braxton Armat. Got it away to Jeffrey. He handballed in the tackle. Trying to get the ball again to Braxton Armat and he succeeds. He's wrapped in a tackle from Burgess. And the ball rolls over the boundary line. A boundary throw in here. Left half forward for St Mary's. You know you're doing all right when your fullback from last week kicks four goals up in the forward line. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's like reversing the batting order in cricket, <laughs> isn't it? Well, I don't know if it would be that successful, <laughs> your tail ender. Adam Tip and Woody back on. And who did we see? Harley Purantana Mary during the break walk past with look like a corky and trapped in ice. Yeah, they'll, well. they'll be putting him on ice for the finals, I reckon, Charlie. Delivered into the 50 by Gavin Durke. Also played well. Thrall kicks it off the ground. I think that was... Put it through for a behind. Yeah, Any? Braxton arm match. Braxton arm match. Now the ball to be brought in again. Dangerous kick. No, it wasn't. Made look very, very nice there. Randy Mungatobi off on the left foot now. Over towards Burgess. Burgess running. Gavin Durka here. Pursuing it hard. Lampton got himself in. Tackled in without the footy. Burgess still going hard at it. Tackled yeah, just high. Well, clearly grabbed high. Oh. Clearly grabbed high. That was very awkwardly done by Lambton, and I'm not sure how he got away with that. But Lambton, the smaller body, did well to actually did. just put his body on the line there. Ball tossed high here. Ryan Smith got the ball to the back. Handball's off to Jack Long. Geez, doing well here is Ryan Smith. Little chip. Richardson close to the boundary line. The high up and under. Baden Nichols underneath it. Held his ground. Braxton Armat gathers. Loses out to Michael Dunn. Finds a player with a moment of space. Tipped him oh. under Mary. Play on is now the call. Kicks out wide. Michael Wilson just pushes Jacob Long underneath it. Tiwi really hassling nicely here. Tom Frawley gathers. Pushes forward. Wilson now gathers. Handballs out the back. Heenan running hard at it. Keeps his body between his opponent and the footy. Gathers the footy. Now goes to Dion Mankara. Close to the boundary. Chips. Up high was Wilkinson, couldn't gather the footy. Ben Rioli tracking the ball back, so too Simon Mankara. Doesn't matter. Oh, Adam Chapman would he gathered. Is it a touch, touch or yep. is it a goal? Touched it's been on the line. Called a behind and touched on the line. So well done from Ben Rioli. Good to see Wilson back out there for Tiwi as well. Indeed, yeah. I was just had the pen hovering then to mark that down as a goal. <laughs> <laughs> Kick out by Ben Rioli, comes to the back, picked up. Crawley's knocked off the ball by Paddy Heenan. It's going to get close to the boundary line and out of bounds. Few metres away from our Do commentary in, desk. Th these players are in top form, aren't they? The Tiwi Bombers. You look at them all, like Heenan and the whole lot of them. They're just peaking. They're, They're peaking at the right. right time, Charlie. They started with 0-5, didn't they, in the first five games? Haven't won a match. Ryan Smith just takes it out of the ruck and then kicks it out of bounds. He's trying to kick that to you, Charlie. Well, it the might ball's go, gonna it's going to come to me. Oh. Tell you what, it's I'd have had a shot. Oh, I thought you would have <laughs> got that ball, Charlie. <laughs> now, Palapur Mini to take the free kick. Little chip. Gee, tip him under Mary. For a man who's retired at least twice, he is doing very nicely indeed. Goes back to Palapur Mini. Kicks into space looking for Austin. Oh, Juan and Mary just positioned shit. his body beautifully. So you don't play that much AFL footy and not have the experience, do you? Jacob Long, the lighter player and less experienced by a country mile. And Austin Juan and Mary just took that magnificently. Stint at the Melbourne Demons, just great for him. Came back prematurely. They tried to get him to go back. He wouldn't go back. And... Um, He's been a great player back in the top end. So aiming for his fourth here, looking to equal the feats of Jason Poor and Tudamere. Crosses 50, kicks from 48. He's hung it out straight away to the right-hand side, veers away, and he manages just to sneak that in for a behind. So the Tiwi Bombers, they move on to 13-10-88. St Mary's 3-4-22, a 66-point margin here at the 10-minute mark of the third. Rioli, Ben... Drives it long, good 60 metre kick, looking for Ryan Smith and oh. takes the mark. Ryan Smith playing an absolutely brilliant game today. It's good. Could be, it could be his last game. Could be, that's what I was thinking too, Charlie. Good leadership as well. Could have got a bit frustrated as he's renowned for sometimes, but he's just out there leading the young Chargers, which is really good. Hello, Paul Mini takes the mark in front of us here. Nors the lead for the switch. Now he looks to the midfield. Got a runner all the way out wide. That's a 50 metre pass. Thank you very much. Taken on the 50. Then drives it into the goals just across the face of the goal. And I think it's, yep, through for a behind. Adam Tippy, I think. Yep. 
So Ben Rioli, the quick return, brings it straight back into play. Goes out to Nichols. Didn't find his man. Tiwi through Michael Dunn here. Steps around Nichols. Did it. Did fantastically well actually to lay a partial tackle which took Michael Dunn out of bounds. Wins his team a boundary throw in at half back. So just watch Jack Long on the sideline here. Yeah, pacing up and down. Let's hope he he's wants good. to get back on. He's got that furiousness out of his game. Yeah. Important player for them, Jack Long. Yeah. And he stood up this season too, Jack Long. He's really taken that leadership role in defence. In a team that's been struggling all year in defence under enormous pressure for most of the year. Richardson now gathering from that ruck contest. Kicks it out to the advantage initially there of Quinn, gathered by Adam Tippenwoody. The man with the flashing boots. And goes to Alastair Darcy. Just moved the ball on then by hand. Basically handball to himself. Had an opportunity to pick up. Now Yaron. Takes a bounce, pursued here by Darcy. Knew he could get around him, Nicholas yeah. Aaron. That was wonderful confidence. And then turns the ball over with a poor kick. Gee, Charlie, he undid all his magnificent work there, didn't he? That was great play by Nicholas Yaron. Yeah, and the then players, the smother yeah. there by P.O. Port Jimmy was yeah. just superb. And they Former they teammates got, a few years ago too, Charlie. Yeah, they got Yaron and drove him into the turf there. Ran his heart out today, Nicholas Yaron. Maloney, Wilson, umpire lets it go. Clark trying to get it out of there. The umpire blows the whistle early. Can I pose a question? Um, Paredes looks like he'll win the best and fairest for St Mary's. He'll be runner-up. That is a very interesting question, Charlie. Oh. Please let me think about yeah, it, Charlie. Let me, about it, Charlie. <laughs> question on notice. let me take a bit, think about it. Jane Tippett, man to Mary, drives it into the 50. Ben Rioli at the back, trying to clear the 50. Kicked off the ground by Paris. As far as Quinn, Quinn can pick it up and go. He does. He has a bounce. Young player not sure what to do with it. Sells Frawley into a bit of trouble. They can get out of it. Here's St. Mary's. Drives it into the 50. Looking for Nichols at the back. But Alistair Darcy just read that ball perfectly and takes an easy mark. Alistair Darcy now. Geez, certainly running into some form. Wonderful to see him back in this team. They're looking so well structured here, the Tiwi Bombers. And I think my answer to your question, Charlie King, is Jack Long. Okay. Yep. Now they move the ball forward. Almost cut off here, Livingston. Burgess gathered, handball towards Simon Mankara. Got himself in front of James Quinn. Back to the hard running Burgess. Takes the bounce immediately. Chips inboard and goes to Dion Mankara. Dropped the mark. Back onto it in a flash. Kicks towards the goal square. Well done by Wilkinson, who got in front of Jason Purantatameri. Wilkinson now kicking out wide, going to the hard run of Baden Nichols. Baden Nichols. Got some movement up forward. Braxton R. Matt's calling for it. That's the direction he goes. Good mark. He's, he's grown this year too, Braxton R. Matt. He really has. He'll be probably a permanent player, I reckon, next year, Braxton R. Matt. Pick the mark in front of Alistair Darcy. Drives it into the 50. Picked up by Jeffrey. Spins out of a tackle. Puts it on the boot. Probably, probably the best thing there for St. Mary's. Boundary throw in deep in the forward pocket. They can reset here. Braxton Armat's running down from about 50 metres away, putting his arm up, saying, I'm the Ruckman for this contest. So Jack Long, I agree, would be in uh, contention. Um, yeah, just looking at a, the team list and just thinking who's actually out, I, I think Jack Long is definitely the, uh, the runner-up. Wouldn't can, Yaron and uh, Raf Clark? Probably not enough games. I, I, yeah, yeah it's, okay. it's a hard one. Yeah, Jack's terrific runner-up. I agree. Right from that contest now, the Tiwi dive in. Extraction machine was Nathan Jakura trying to soccer it off the ground was Babu. He just missed it completely. Durke fighting for it. So too there, Bradley Palapur. Many lost the footy. I thought I heard a whistle. No. Instead, it's a streaking Tiwi through the middle of the ground, and that is Adam Tippingwood. He Look can who's pick chasing it up. him, he Quinn. Can. Quinn on the burst. Well done to put the pressure on. Ball out in front of Jason Porantata Mary. Just takes the mark and takes off. I don't know what Wilkinson's asking for, but down the ground is a free kick, I think. I'm not sure why, but. Anyway, oh, we'll stick with the play, and Cora Tadamiri just looking magnificent. The mark taken there by Simon Mankara. It was a free kick down the ground. Actually, Quinn got into his back. The umpire... Oh, there we go. Yeah. What about the Simon Mankara mark? It's just wonderful. Where, 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 where do you, how quick is he? Where do you reckon Quinn would finish in the best and fairest at a first-year player that's actually played very consistent? Yeah, yeah top five, I five, think. Five, yeah. Yep. So Mankara, just slightly left of centre here. Jacob Long on the mark. Low trajectory drop punt started at right. Charlie, they keep allowing for that breeze that actually doesn't it's come. Not quite there, <laughs> is it? They can feel it, they can sense it, but yep. it's not doing anything to the ball. 
Ben Rioli kicking out duties. Been ben, going long at every opportunity. Ben Rioli could still feature in the best and fairest yeah, for St Mary's. Yeah, true. Had a good year. So we've played 16 minutes. We've only added a couple of goals here, Tiwi. Yeah, they've done well, St Mary's. Nicholas Yaron can't find his target. Target, And Nathan Jakura. No, the umpire says ball it up. I thought that Gee. was either hiding, holding yep. the ball or yep. in the back. Or, or one of the them. Back. Had, had to be one or the other. He took the play on, fell over, got tackled. Bit of a non-call there. So we just see Harley Poole and Tata Mary too taking that ice and strapping off. So H Hand pass out to Dion Mankara. He can kick him from here. Across the oh. face. Oh, I tell you what, I thought that was in there. He loves him on that left foot. You know, Almost like a Matt Suckling kick he has. Yeah. <laughs> the the feature, feature of Tiwi Bombers is their anticipation they just and their acceleration. Two really important things in footy, and they have it in abundance, don't they? So many of these players would have played footy together for 20 years. Yeah. They've been playing together since they were five. Look at that kick out by Bryn Rioli. Unfortunately, it's gone to the hands of Austin Wanamiri if you're a Saints supporter. Ross Tungatalam fighting hard for it as well. So too Quinn. Coming in strongly was Baden Nichols. Lost it out the back. Palapur Mini, a driving pass. Well read, Ben Rioli. On the move quickly. Going to the height of Heath Maloney. Does he let him down? No, he doesn't. Had three points at it. Wasn't called. Nicholas Yaron hit high and hard. And he will take the free kick at right half back. Michael Wilson on the mark. Nice kick. Yaron to Quinn. Two of the good performers here this afternoon. Another one who's tried hard is this fellow in Jeffrey. Effort's been good. A uh, good build-up here from St Mary's. Gone good. to Ryan Smith, who's been outstanding in the second and third quarters. Good kick, Matt Jeffrey. Playing a proper big man role. Kick now up to Braxton R. Matt. Just wasn't quite in the right position. Baden Nichols clearing a path here for Livingston. Ball goes to Nichols again to R. Matt. Good quick hands back to Livingston. Now to Nichols. Now need to get boot to ball, and they do. Who's in front? The man in front, William Virgil Purantata Mary. Tiwi Bombers. Kicks it out, looking for a teammate. It's going to drop short, and that's well done. Good mark by Whitney, I think that is out there, for St. Mary's. We'll drive it back into the 50. No one's set up for St. Mary's and was ready for that ball. And the mark, uncontested mark by Mungatopi. Kicks it out wide. Teammate, hand pass over the top to Paddy Heenan. Time and space. Drives it up to Shane. Tip up man to Mary. Just holding the ball here, Tiwi, done. Just asking players to lead it. And a few tight players here. Hand passes to Paddy Heenan, running pass. Kicks it to the big Ruckman, but close to the boundary line. Just a little bit of no play there by Tiwi Bombers. Yeah, good point, Tash. So what do you do? Do you put the, start putting the cue in the rack now and easing off a little bit? You, no, you've got to Because you've got a big going. game coming up next week, particularly if you're playing elimination final. Exactly. So exactly. You want to be finishing this game how you want to start next okay. week. So you take a little bit of a breather late in the third quarter like now and then come home strong for the last quarter? In the last quarter, quarter yeah. I think so. Yeah. Ross Tungatalam now streaming through half forward, trying to put the afterburners on with Jacob Long putting pressure on him. And well done, Jacob Long. I made comment before, he's showing that he can play at this level. Caused a turnover there. Yaron now going to Durke. Lifted his work rate since the first quarter as Gavin Durke. Long kick. To no one in particular. It was really was a poor kick. Braxton Armand could make it look good. Met the ball. He's met by Michael Dunn. Randy Mungatobi picks up the footy, and there's just way too much space here for the Tiwi Bombers. Bradley Palapulmini just gathers, has a couple of easy bounces, has a bit of a practice on the left boot. Out to Shane Tippem under Mary, <laughs> possession number 37. Patrick Heenan gathers. Where's his target? Streaking oh, out man. here in Simon Mankara. He led with intent from the goal square and takes the mark. 30 hour. Finger tipper it was, wasn't it? It was a beautiful grab. Beautiful. Experience, Charlie, experience. Look at him. Been around for a long time. Classy Simon footballer. So much going for the Tiwi Bombers. So Simon Mankara here. What has he learned from his last shot at goal? Different position here. How will he read the wind? From that right forward pocket. Kicks at goal. He's read it magnificently. Straight through the middle for Simon Mankara. Kicks his second for the game, the Tiwi Bombers, 27 scoring shots to 7. 14, 13, 97, plays 3, 4, 22. And then to that, they've had eight goal kickers, so they've shared them around a bit. Four of them with uh, Jason Porantatamiri and three with Austin Wanamiri, uh, Wanamiri and a couple to Simon Munkar and the rest have singles. Look at that, Mark. 
It's a it's great mark. Look it? at the highest point. Just beautiful. And just that run through the middle too a while ago, you were saying, Don, with too much space to move. It's like watching basketball a bit. It's like they're just bouncing the ball, yeah, waiting for an opportunity to come. And what they did on every opportunity there was they used the ball beautifully. Yeah. Ryan Smith back in the ruck, cleared out the centre by St. Mary's. Too good the Tiwi defender here. Touched to himself. That's Mungatopi. Look at the pace. Burning down the thing and he's caught holding the ball. No, the umpire says play on. Jack Long picks it up. Has Ryan Smith. Can go back. Has the lead on in the forward line. Or got Matthias Liddy with a chip over the top. Ignores that. Goes longer. Straight to Dyke, but goes through Dyke's hand. Braxton Armat dummies, shimmies around one, kicks it, and he's just missed, unfortunately, for Braxton Armat. Did all the hard work, was in the right spot. Unfortunately, kicks it behind. Showing a lot of promise, Braxton Armat. Well, that's a low trajectory kick. Comes off here for the Tiwi Bombers, gathered by William Virgil. Poran Tadameri goes to Dyke, out wide to Ross Tungatalam. Just in, not, not metres, he's in acres of space here. Nice little handball at the one-two back. Tonga Talam delivers it beautifully here to Adam Tip and Woody deep in that forward pocket. Goes again to Mankara, misses the target. Gathered by Jacob Long. Takes his time. Picks out a teammate in Marius Clark beautifully. He takes the mark at left half back for St. Mary's. Looks to go long down the line. Target out there. Braxton arm out. Kick was poor. Let his teammate down really and finds the boundary line. Left half forward. 22 and a half minutes gone. 97. Plays 23. Tired players out there. It's a hot day today. It's a scorcher. And Tiwi is so used to playing at this time slot as well. It's so hard for the other teams to come and play at 2 o'clock here. Ryan Smith taps it out to Matthias Liddy. Trying to get on his right boot. Hand passes to no one. Tries to go back in again. He's over the ball. The St. Mary's play needs to get it out. Drags it back in again. What does the umpire call? All up as the siren goes to end up the third quarter. Yeah, third quarter coming to a close, and St Mary's, uh, well, they didn't score a goal in that quarter. TB Bombers managed to get three, and so the score at three-quarter time, 14 goals, 13. TB Bombers leading uh, St Mary's three goals, five.
Oh, I didn't send that school. No. Oh. <laughs> so last quarter about to get underway here. And uh, the big lead to the TV Bombers is 74 points. He's done that. Cool, LWN, Leon Woodcock, Nolan wins it out of the middle. Paddy Heenan almost grabbed it, beaten for it by Durke. He gets a handball out wide to Quinn, cut off by Tip and Woody. Mankara tried to handle with the one hand, couldn't quite do so. Quinn, well done, got it back to Durke. The handball was a bit fierce to Paris. Holds it up on centre wing, tucks it under his Tiwi opponent. Jakura working really hard, goes back to Adam Tip and Woody. On the left boot now. Finds a teammate close to the boundary line. Is it out of bounds on the full? Tom Frawley's calling for it. Paddy Heenan dropped it cold. And the boundary umpire says, I'll toss it in. So left half forward here now for the Tiwi Bombers. Almost a fast start, but well held up after good work there by Durke and Quinn. All set. Maloney up against Woodcock Nolan. Woodcock Nolan got himself in front. The boundary throw in was somewhat short. Comes out again, oh, yeah, no, charging in was Jack Long. Tackled there by Jason Purrant. Oh, Tuttamere, no, ball no, spills. No, 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 no one can handle cleanly. Yeah, Close no, to no, the no, boundary no. line, Jeffrey tossed over. And they'll do it all again from exactly the same position, Charlie. Yeah, just going through. Oh, this is Groundhog Day or something. Absolutely. <laughs> You're not watching a replay. But it, it is hard. Charlie, we played a little bit earlier. Um, my Palmerston Magpies against Wanderers. Again, second playing last on the ladder. We were winning by about 100 points at three-quarter time and the girls come out in the last quarter and they just they just took their foot off the pedal and we got the momentum that we wanted to go into the finals and Wanderers actually outscored us in the last quarter, which I was trying to tell the girls it's so important to finish the game yeah. and take that momentum into the into the, la into, you know, the finals yeah. time and just hopefully Tiwi aren't mucking around too much because they need that as well. Well, I'd suggest, like I said before, I think you can, have a, you can ease off a bit in the third quarter, but you want to finish... On a real positive, full of run and. To Jakura. Poor kick in board. Chopped oh. off by Long. Great pick up. Great pick up. Just boots it long, but Alistair Darcy's there for Tiwi. Alistair Darcy 
He's been the clean-up man this afternoon. Gee, that should have been a free kick. Marius Clark high on his opponent, gathered again by Jacob Long. He has performed well this afternoon, Jacob Long. So signs of promise there for St Mary's. Kick forward by Lambton, missed his target. Gathered by Dunn, slips over. Pressure comes here now from Jimmy McMurtry, holding it up well. Ryan Smith looks to gather, handballs forward. McMurtry with an opportunity. Nichols, in fact, it is. Handballs to Ben Rioli, tackled well. Goes back to Nichols, steps into space, snaps on goal. He's put it through. So Nichols kicks his second of the afternoon. Saints have their fourth, and that is their first goal for the second half. Perseverance and plenty of it from the green machine here. Did we haven't used that term much this year, but uh, that was a good goal to Nichols after some hard work. You'll see it here on replay. That's him getting earlier on, getting it. Handball out, and then Rioli going over the top to him, and then a little bit of space, and he can kick around his body. And good work by Jacob Long in the back line there, pick up at his feet. And I yeah. made a mistake last week. Jacob is actually Jack's younger brother, son of John Long, and Ben is their cousin, son of Chris Long. Anthony is another cousin, son of Stephen Long. Oh, can you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> They're all connected somehow. Dion Mankara has a bounce, clears the center, chopped off by Braxton Armat. Hand to ball, Jason Punatana Mary was held on to, still getting held on to, then kicks it off the ground. Good body work by Simon Mankara. They're doing well, the St. Mary's defenders here. Frawley is taken high. The umpire says play on. No. It says give it to me. The ball was coming out. The umpire was a bit late on his whistle there, but he's gonna ball it up in the 50 for the TV Bombers. Do you know the TV Bombers are playing this fumble-free footy? Like, they don't fumble. They just scoop it off the ground, don't they? It's, 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 it's amazing to watch. Ball tossed high. Maloney flicks it out beautifully. Heenan grabs it. One grab. Bangs away towards oh. goal. Oh, gee. The way that uh, the shepherding was occurring down there by Ross Tungatalam, I thought that was through for full points there. One point on the board. Nicholas Yaron to bring the footy back into play. 14, 14, 98, plays 4, 5, 29. Easily, this will be the biggest win ever by the Tiwi Bombers against St. Mary's. Ball to the back of the pack, gathered by Wilkinson, kicks long down the line. Ben Rioli running for it, doesn't matter. It's out of bounds on the full. So a turnover again. Tiwi Bombers through the form of Alistair Darcy will take that free kick. They've only kicked three goals since half time, the Tiwi Bombers. Had 11 goals to half time. I want to get a few more on the board. Talk about that momentum. Good delivery into the forward line. Picked up quickly. Gets it moving forward. Paddy Heenan, dangerous. Good work off the ball. Kicked out by Jeffrey. And it's going to go out of bounds. Yep, for a boundary throw in. It's been a good team effort, though, I reckon, from the TV Bombers. They feel pleased about that. And what is an indicator of that is, is that Ross Tungatullum doesn't stand out. He looks the same as everybody else out there on the field. They've been, they've just been good. So many good players. Be hard to actually pick who the actual best has been out there today. Probably Paddy Heenan, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, terrific game from him. <coughs> so boundary throw in now. Ruckman, Woodcock Nolan, Maloney. He's been double teamed this afternoon. Woodcock Nolan wins it down. Durke almost stole it away. Got the handball almost from Jeffrey. A few almosts in there for St. Mary's. Good tackle laid on Burgess. Smashed him over the boundary line. And he is hurt here too, Burgess. He is hurt. This will be a boundary throw in. And Burgess looking to jog from the ground here. They he, don't want to lose him for the finals. He was thumped into the ground heavily. This is a left shoulder injury here for Christian Burgess. Yeah, he's holding that, uh, protecting that left arm, isn't he? And That's they're missing hams this week as well, so yep. another big body. Yep. LWN in the ruck, wins it down. Jacob Long tracking the ball, gathers beautifully. Nice shepherding from Durke. Gee, I've liked the way he's improved his game. Goes to Ryan Smith, takes that out in front of his eyes. Beautifully done. So Ryan Smith with the mark at half forward. Looks to kick long. Who's his target? Matthias Liddy it will be. Wrestles. Doesn't take the mark. Back of the pack. Liddy gathers. Caught with the footy. Comes to him. Manages to get a kick away somehow. Scores a point. I thought that was incorrect disposal of dropping the ball there. Roy Farmer with the kicking out duties for Tiwi. Burgess just comes past us here, not looking too crash hot. Definitely holding that left shoulder. He's a big unit, isn't he? He is, he doesn't he? He's <laughs> strong, close. isn't he? Oh, good Mark Smith, Ryan Smith. Hold his head high here today. 
Might be his last game in Premier League. We're not quite sure, but he can hold his head high if it is. Had a brilliant career at St. Mary's and at Thunder. St. Mary's working hard. That's diving at the feet. The umpire says, play on. Jeez. Nathan Jakura will get to this ball first. He does. On the mark was Wilkinson. Chips over to Jason Punatana Mary. Can't take the mark. Dances around the opponent. Calling for a high, but the umpire says no. It goes out of bounds for a boundary throw, and fair enough. I just posed a question with Ryan Smith. We, we keep thinking it's his last season, but he's a big fellow. Do you know? I mean, can he stay and ruck another season? Well, I, don't, I don't think he's at I think he's only 30 or 31, maybe. So he could potentially still still go around for sure. And not play for Thunder, have the year yep. off, get himself fresh, come back and yep. play another year with St Mary's. Look, I, I think absolutely he could, Charlie, but he really has to want to do so. Yeah. We, we see the Tiwi Bombers on the march here, just lining up handball, handball, handball. Can they get hold of it and use it cleanly here? Mankara to Wanamere, stops and props, bangs away at goal, and that is a goal on the board for Austin Wanamere. He has his fourth, finally. Two in the first, one in the second, and now one in this last quarter. So the Tiwi Bombers, they move here onto 15, 14, 104. St. Mary's 4, 6, 30. And just to come back to that, yeah, Charlie, yeah. I, th I think absolutely Ryan Smith can play. He's demonstrated quite a bit of frustration during the course of this season yeah. where Saints are at. I think he needs to have a good look at how he's going to handle that from a leadership perspective. Can play, can add a lot of value to the team, but he's got to understand where the team's at and be prepared to be that mentor and, and cop some of these losses perhaps, but use it as a, as a training time. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Uh, and as a, gee, he jumps high in the ruck there, but just be motivated next yes. year by yes. what happened this year. You wouldn't yes. want to waste what's happened no, this year, no. would you? And he could also play in the forward line if you're not going to have him in the ruck because you've got some players coming through. But, you know, he's dangerous up forward. He can kick goals, can't he? Absolutely. And he yeah. loves to kick them. Yeah, he does. Tiwi Farmer, looking for P.O. Poor Jimmy, takes the mark in front of us. Just a couple of metres in front of us here. Poor kick. Going to be a turnover. Braxton Armat, young player coming through, has a lot of potential. Stabbing pass to a teammate. In Richardson. Richardson looking for Alistair Darcy. Tries to chop it off. Comes to ground. Picked up St. Mary's play. Had no one to kick to. Just too easy here for Tiwi. No one still has an eternity to get rid of this footy. Finds Wilson. Wilson's got a player running past him. That's Babubi, Babui. Kicks it forward. Has Adam Tippenwoody all on his own, 60 metres out from goal. So Tippenwoody now looks, oh, look, great run from Michael Wilson. Ran all the way from half back. He's had the ball sat on his chest and he has dropped the mark <laughs> in the left forward pocket. What wonderful effort, though. Ten minutes into the last quarter, hot day. Still running. Yeah, Still that running. was terrific. What a shame for him, he dropped the mark. And the first person to let him know all about it, Ryan Smith. Ryan Smith. <laughs> he had it spent before he, he got did, it. didn't he? Boundary throw in now. Smith in the ruck contest just takes it straight out. Handballs quickly. Goes to his teammate there in Chris Paris. Yep. The high up and under went to Marius Clark. In fact, it's Ben Rioli, I think. Yes, Ben Rioli infringed in that contest. Now goes to Jack Long. Still working in the latter stages of this last quarter. Finds Richardson. He's had a couple of possessions in the last few moments. Goes sideways and by hand to Ben Rioli. Set him a task really under pressure and receives a free kick downfield for a tackle after he disposed of the footy. So the free kick to be taken inside the 50 metre arc, I think. And Quinn with footy in hand. Been a consistent four quarter performer, James Quinn. Dom, I'm not suggesting that um, there's a handball. We'll just stay with this kick. Kick is from Ben Rioli. Underneath oh, it, Matthias well Liddy positioned himself well, got himself in front, and Bull Chester took the mark on that chest, 25, 30 metres out from goal. And Go he on. needs to do more of that, Matthias Liddy, yeah. when he's full forward, doesn't he? Just be strong at the footy. You've got a strong point. body, you know, yeah. Yeah. and uh, put that chest out and take, take that footy big grab. That was, uh, that was a good mark. Or well, crush anyone that's in front of him. Crush the well, back and bring them, him down to your forwards. Let yeah. them know, you know, that you're going to run hard at the footy. So Matthias Liddy now, he's one of only two goal kickers, has kicked two. Kick on its way, started it right, stays right. Just got a little edge on it. 
it's, through for a behind. It's the branches in the tree. Would have been <laughs> caught a second slip. Yeah, well, um, absolutely. <laughs> I was just going to say with Ryan Smith, it, maybe going to another club like and being refreshed, I'm not suggesting that's what he should do, but sometimes players can do that late in their careers. Go to a new club, get refreshed and... You know, because he's still got plenty to oh, offer. Oh, here we go with the talk. Who 80, that? 80 Boy, metres. Ryan Smith, the man we're talking about. Jacob Long has played a good game as well. Chips it over to Nichols, but it's going to go out of bounds on the full. Right idea, but just the execution let him down. Yep. And there's been a bit of that, hasn't there, this afternoon? Younger players, mm. inexperienced. Sometimes it's the execution that's let him down. The endeavour's been there from quite a few. Yeah. They can definitely hold their heads up high. Done. Geez, they've welcomed him back, haven't they? Look at Roy Farmer go. Jason Punatana Mary's come on it as well. Oh. Rewards Farmer has a bounce. Can go over the top, he does. Can get it back. And he does. Roy Farmer, this will be nearly goal of the year if he can kick it. Oh my goodness. And he's hit the post. He's celebrating he's still. Celebrating. He doesn't know it's hit the post. <laughs> what a oh. run. Oh, he's devastated. He started with the kick out. That was exquisite. Oh, jeez. If ever a goal was deserved, it was that one. That was terrific from Roy Farmer. What an effort. And then to see him celebrate, he wasn't quite sure. <laughs> Quinn now taking the footy after a good kick from Frawley. Braxton Armat presents, takes the mark on the chest. Paris could be next in line unless he's picked up. Goes further down the line. Target here, Maloney. Wilkinson flew high. Maloney got hands to it. Then no go. one's quick enough in that pack. Purin Tutter, Mary, Jason. Off he goes. Handballs into the corridor. Done. Streaming through. Looking for LWN. Oh. Grabs that at centre half forward. Oh, that's just perfect play. The big man positioned well, and they went to him as they should have. When he when he come on, he asked, "Where am I going?" They said, "Full forward." He's like, "Okay, I'll I'll go, I'll go there and sit there for a while." Look, the mark he just took. Roy Farmer coming from the ground, smiling, laughing, <laughs> high-fiving with a teammate. A little bit embarrassed, but he shouldn't be. LWN now with the shot on goal. Bangs it long, and it's taken off to the right for a behind. The Tiwi Bombers, 105, plays 31, almost 15 minutes gone in this last quarter. That clash between the big man from uh, Tiwi Bombers and... Uh and Ryan Smith didn't really eventuate today, did it? I mean, we didn't see enough of them jumping against each other. Mm. Yaron and Liam Woodcock. Sorry, mm. Yaron hits his target in Rioli. Misses his target in Livingstone. Was Tunga Talam being quiet in the second half, but hits Aussie Wanamiri on the chest, directly in front. Going to have to kick it from 50. He's got four goals already in this game. Two in the first quarter, one in the second, one in this last. I might be game enough to actually put it in. Don't do it, Charlie. Ooh, I, I His, believe it or not, we're 15 minutes through this quarter. Two, we've only kicked one goal in this last quarter. Two, Austin, one, Mary. Mm. Yes, they needed three or four more. And that's why we're talking about that momentum, finishing off the game, which they really haven't done in this third and last quarter. Looks good off the boot as he snuck it in. No, it's another behind. <laughs> <laughs> that sound. We told you, Charlie. 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 Raising it. <laughs> yeah. Scrubbing his team sheet. As Jack Long has to jump the uh, suburban fence here. So the down two rotations really. Harley, Punatana Mary come off with a with yep. a hamstring injury. And Burgess as well hasn't come out of the rooms with a left shoulder injury. And neither of those should come on. No, uh, doesn't matter what position they're in. Just leave them off. Lovely kick in. Except it's taken now by P.O. Poor Jimmy. Simon Mankara with the party tricks. Kicks into the corridor. Wanamiri and Jack Long running hard at each other. And Ben Rioli fumbles professionally through the goals for another behind. We'll bring it back into play quickly here. The man with the number three on the back. Kicks long out wide looking for Maloney. Now the foot race is on. Maloney, Woodcock, Nolan. Jeffrey gets himself in oh, front, tackled by Woodcock Nolan. Did magnificently the big man. He's going to cause a turnover here. Dunn gathers, runs into the corridor, has a bounce. Alistair Darcy calling for it out wide, honours that. Wilkinson goes high, thumps the ball away. Randy Mungatobi flicks it out in front, and Wilkinson gives away a free kick here. Jeffrey. And he objects and gives away a 50 metre penalty immediately. They have been warned, Charlie, haven't they? <laughs> The last two rounds uh, with the stuff that was happening with the umpires and they weren't happy with the way they were being treated by supporters. 
and the players, they did warn at every start of every single game, if you back chat at all, it's going to be 50. No question. No conversation. 50. And he, Wilkinson gets a bit of a climb, doesn't he? He can jump at the footy. He can. And he's played up forward a bit and then defended very well, but does lose his temper quickly, as he just showed. Kick on goal. Randy Mungatobi somehow missed the man on the mark. Sneaks it in for their second goal of the last quarter. Almost a guarantee that they'll win every quarter here at uh, Tiwi Bombers over Saints. And that is something you probably have never seen before. And certainly that margin you were saying earlier on would probably be a record margin for the Bombers over Saints. And Charlie, nine goal kickers for the Tiwi Bombers. Two for St Mary. Mm. Unbelievable, yeah. really. Two. Yeah. Just Bring on the screen there, we're watching Wilkinson, and there he is, knowing that he's given away the free kick and then that frustration boiling over. But again, that's that professionalism, isn't it, Charlie, where you just, you, you've just got to play the game as the rules yep. are dictated. Zip it. And we've spoken about Cyril Rioli as the runner for uh, Tiwi. He's got around to about six players after that goal to let them know what a good effort. Ben Rioli's gone to the middle. Going to get this clearance he does. Cyril Rioli needs to get out the way. Quickly runs out the way. On the left by Wigney. No, that was Livingston, and he misses the goal. So good clearance by Ben Rioli, but just not enough of it today. Well, much to like about the TV Bombers today. Uh -oh. So we're not sure who they're going to play. We have no idea, really. There'll be a couple of teams in contention, depending on other results. Indeed. And I'm, I'm sitting here commentating at Tracy Village, and I, I still just cannot believe that I've just seen Cyril Rioli run through the interchange Quite gate as, as the Tiwi Bombers runner. Right. I, I just can't get used to it, especially as a, as a Hawthorne, Hawthorne supporter, <laughs> Charlie, I have to say. As we see Jason Purr and Tudamiri play on, kick magnificently, go to Michael Dunn, who's just had leather poisoning in his return today. Patrick Heenan, lovely switch. Nicholas Yaron in the way, has the double touch takes the mark beautifully under pressure he was hammered as he took it gets the ball out wide goes to Nichols. i've been impressed with his efforts today yeah me too and it goes to livingston i presume from 52 meters little chip looking for ben rioli has the double grabber livingston needs to get in there jakura did well got a fingernail to it pushed it forward darcy now takes a handball and kicks reading it beautifully dion mankara uh, matt overran it Mankara now looking to dash oh, in between both players. Yaron got him, he but did. not before he got the kick away. Frawley ran hard, caused a bit of confusion. Durkay gathers, steps around an opponent. The high up and under, who's there? Jack Long will be there. It will work. Well done, Gavin Durkay. He's got a player that's just come on the interchange. Goes to Ben Rioli. Kicks it into the 50. He's put off his kick a little bit, looking for Smith. Taken by Punatana Mary, that's William Virgil. And the ball goes out of bounds. Jason Punatana Mary has been moved from the forward line to the back line. You've kicked enough goals today. <laughs> Down back you go. Back you go. <laughs> I just, a, a full back, to play full back, to go forward today and kick four goals is just unbelievable. Yeah. Boundary throw in now, LWN gets it down, only as far there as Wigney, lost the footy, ball comes out to Darcy, Darcy little chip looking for P.O. Poor Jimmy, Jacob Long held off the footy, crashing his way through was Maloney, got the soccer away, and that's out of bounds on the full, yep, was called, Good pressure just below the knee. Poor Jimmy, P.O. Poor Jimmy. So to take the free kick, former Saints junior, played quite a few games for the Saints in Premier League footy. Good mark down the line there. Tom Frawley, well done at centre wing. Frawley, not much movement up forward, so he's got to go long. Looking for Smith to run at it, he does. Jakura was underneath it. Knew a pack was coming, but didn't flinch. Gets it out to P.O. Poor Jimmy. Straight to James Quinn, drops the mark. Has enough time to pick up and speed. Gets the ball back, delivers it into the 50, but straight into the arms of Jakura. Didn't take the mark, went for the fist. Back to James Quinn, off the side of the boot. Ross Tungatalam's out there. Nichols drops the mark, quickly wheels on to his right and falls into the arms of William Virgil Ponatana Mary. Straight across the ground. That's <laughs> there, Darcy. In the shade. <laughs> oh, as he should be. I don't blame him at all. Goes to Jason Ponatana Mary. He's in the sun, as he should be. He's had too much fun down forward. Good movement here. William Virgil Porantata-Mary just taking his time. And you've got to say the uh, 
the first names here do too, don't you? Because you have to distinguish between which Purun Tata Mary is at all the time. Are, yeah. Michael Dunn now takes the ball at centre half back, straight out wide. Ross Tungatalam just camped out there, just waiting for it. Adam Tip and Woody now, left half forward. Good methodical build up here by the Tiwi Bombers. Tip and Woody on the move, went to the movement of Ross Tungatalam. Steps inside, lovely oh, drilling ball. Pass. And who is that but Bradley Palapur Mini up from half back? He says, I want a part of this fun too. I want to have a crack. Hasn't kicked a goal today, but uh, not to say he won't get this one. What a pass that was. I think that's thunder we can hear in the background. But um, I'm trying to look around and think where it's coming from. Good team effort today by oh, Tiwi. Just beautiful. They've shared the ball so well. Bradley Palapur Mini now, strong kick. Goal umpire moved marginally to the right, straight through the middle. Palapur Mini kicks his goal, and Tiwi, they just march along magnificently here. 17 18, 120. St. Mary's 4 8, 32. Three goals to one in the last quarter. That's how they wanted to finish. They could squeeze one more in. We've played 23 minutes. They mightn't get time, but if they can get a quick clearance from the middle. Be nice to finish with four goals in the last quarter. That's a pretty good effort. Yeah. You kick four goals each quarter, you get 16 goals from match. Chances are you win. You win. That's it. Just waiting for the ball to come back. He's. You know what's a good season when you don't know who the the, the teams are going to play next week in the finals. Oh, that's yeah, true. You, you know Just it's been know. a great a great season. It's the same in the, uh, the the women's competition this year. Very even. It's good to see. That's why you love football. Woodcock, Nolan, it's Maloney. It's without it. Ben Rioli again will get the clearance. Hasn't given up. Has a ping at the goals. Hopefully he can kick it, but marked on the line by that man. Juggle. Juggled. Juggled through by Alistair Darcy. <laughs> He's tried to bring the ball in too quickly there. Well, he's allowed to do that, isn't he? Well, I must admit I get quite confused by that because, you know, Ben Rioli brought the ball down there. At, as soon as it went through, he brought it straight back in. Yeah. What was wrong with doing that, that that's just the, then? That's the idea of the intention of yep. the, the rule change. Yep. So turned over here, Jason Purim Tadamari, in fact, to bring the ball in now. Went to go with the torpedo. Hasn't come off cleanly. And the ball bounces on end. Players trying to thump it away there, close to the boundary line. Gathered by Jimmy McMurtry. Ball inboard, no mark taken. Wigney belts away at goal. Jason Purim Tadamari there takes the mark. Now deep in that back pocket, looks for and finds. No, he didn't mark the ball, Michael Dunn, but gathers quickly. Fires it away to Bradley Pellipo Mini. Kick up through centre wing. Jacob Long, good contest now between he and Dion Mankara. Holds it up, does Jacob Long. He's got two to beat. Does well in that battle. Patrick Heenan just flicks it over the back there. The handball and hope. Well, you can hope a lot when Dion Mankara is there. He gathered, got it to Shane, took him under Mary. He's caught. Well done, Braxton Armat. Been very impressed with his game this afternoon. He's really stuck to the task. Um, Matt has Frawley. It's Mystic's target, but has enough time and space. Jack Long's calling for it in the middle. Ignores that. Goes long. Looking for Livingston. Takes the mark as the siren goes to end this game. And what a terrific win here for the Tiwi Bombers in the end. They run out, run out very big winners. 17 goals, 18 to 4 goals, 9. It was a massive win from a team that's going to be playing in finals footy. And for St Mary's. Well, they can put uh, the clothes away and lock them away. Nice to have you both working with us. Dominic and Tash will do it all again next week when finals footy comes to the NTFL. Good on you, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie.